Hello everyone. Welcome. Today we are going to take a look at the stencil map feature of Houdini 21. So let's see how to set this up. <coughs> I'll take a grid, which is just a simple grid. I'll just go to the viewport. So yeah. And for stencil map to work, you need UV. So let's use UV project and just initialize the UV so we got some UVs going on here so that's my geometry and for the image you can use any black and white image but I have made some image here so which is just a star shape I made and wrote to disk here so I can just use that as a stencil map to apply that map we just need a render geometry settings just connect it and now you can just mention which geometry you want to apply that map to okay I want to apply to grid 2 and if you go to the shading tab so you can see this is the new feature which is the stencil map you just click here to enable it and you can choose the map which I wrote just now so yeah that's it now this is applied but it's not visible in the viewport because it works only in the render view so you just go to the karma xpu yeah our, our stencil map is applied successfully <coughs> that's how you set up a stencil map uh, there are a few things to note <coughs> so i have made this in comp in in the cop network but you can't directly link a texture map from the cop to the stencil here so what I mean is a usual way is using the op syntax and just uh, just mentioning the path here so that it picks up but with the stencil map it doesn't work um, <coughs> maybe in future they'll they'll consider this and just make it work but for now it just works with the images on the disk so that's one thing to keep in mind so yeah that's it that's how you set up a simple stencil map uh, stay tuned I will be sharing an advanced video where I set up a stencil map for a tree model which has a lot of opacity maps on it uh, I will just try to directly link it to the stencil map uh, like kind of a procedurally without having to do this for every mesh one by one we'll try to somehow uh, link it procedurally so that we don't have to set this up for every mesh so I will be sharing that video soon to watch that just stay tuned and subscribe. I hope that's useful. See you next time.